serpent. Because this serpent have been receiving teaching from Elijah. It was Elijah that started the school of the sons of the prophets. So this serpent was one of the prophets that Elijah, Elijah began to teach. Elijah was not teaching him to go for business. Elijah was teaching them to take his word, his anointing, to, 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 as in, to cash his anointing, to become a prophet as he himself is a prophet. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. The why won't make him. What made God? And when God said, Elijah, go and anoint Elisha. Elisha did not, Elijah did not just tell God, oh God, I have a servant. There is a servant that is serving me. Oh, the years. There is a faithful servant that is with me that was even on the road with me when Jesus there was pushing me. His life was at stake as, as much as my life was at stake. Why did Elisha? What happened?
So what? What do you think made God to disqualify that man? If the intent you 
are looking for God is because you want the mantle of the man of God. That is why you are following the man of God. You are, you are not going to get that mantle. I believe this might be the intent, the heart. God has searched the heart of that servant and said, No. His motive is not clean. Maybe that servant see the glory of the matter of Elijah and he wanted it. And this is the reason why many people are making themselves man of God because they see the glory of the man of God. They see the glory of the anointing. They see the riches that is coming to the anointing. So they want it. They want to become a man of God. So they are praying, fasting, doing everything. Oh God, I love you. Oh God, God is going to be back on the scene. God has already seen your heart. Yes. Did you get it now? God has already seen your heart. I believe that was the intent of that servant. That was the driving force behind his action. He was following his master so that one day people will begin to honor him as they honor his master. That one day kings will come to him and say, My father, let me. He was driven by the material glory that the mantle attracts. He never knew what qualified Elijah for the mantle was not material things. You see, the moment. Because that is the reason why there was no force. If you see, when the mantle was, see, listen to me, when the mantle was cast upon Elisha, and Elisha told Elijah, please, let me go and tell my family, let me go and say goodbye. Elijah said, I have nothing to what I do with you. What, what was I mean? I go! Elijah drove him. But the Bible said that Elisha he took, he took a knife and killed all his cows that he was using to graze as a tractor in his farm. He killed all the cows and bred them and make it as a sacrifice. Give to the people, the farmer he was working with, give to them to what eat. Elisha destroyed his business. He was a successful businessman. He has a lot of slaves. That was working for him, but when the call came upon him, when the mantle was cast upon him, he forsook everything, both his wife, both his, 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 his mother, both his father, and took the mantle and followed Elijah. You get it? He took the mantle and followed Elijah. And that came, the Bible said, when it was time for God to take Elijah. See it now. When it was time for God to take Elijah, as they were going, the Bible says, when they come to Jericho, the people said, the people of Gideon and Sidon, don't you know that today God will take your master away from you? And when they get to Gideon, Elijah told his master, his servant, Elijah, wait, the same way he told that one to want, wait. Elijah said, my master, my father, if God told them for them, I will not leave you. I will follow you to wherever you are going. But when he told the other one, wait, he will last. Did you get it now? Did you get it now? You see that it was two so different things. See, there are many ways God tells us. Without you even knowing that this is a text from God, and when you miss it, you are disqualified from the high call. I believe that someone has had a dream, see himself prophesying to nations. But a time comes, he missed it. What gives Elisha that motivation? What gives him that zeal? That called Elijah and said, I will not leave him. He said, Before God.
God, who my son, my father, and the one with you, I will follow you anywhere you are not. But when he told the other son, when he went to me, the Bible said he won't he wait. For that reason, he was disqualified. If that servant was with God, was with Elijah, when God was only to Elijah, God would have told Elijah, I'm waiting. Because God is not a man. He's not unrighteous that he will forget all the labor of love that you have shown towards what is made. Elisha loved Elijah as his father. He loved it from the heart. So the essence has said that, no, wherever you are going, I must go. There are many people that are positioned, that are taught that God is going to use them in the ministry that God will never use. God will never use them. Why? Not because they are not crying. God is the God that searches your heart. See, irrespective of how you come to God, that is not what matters to God. What matters to God is your intention, is your heart. Turn with me to the book of Matthew 19, verse 12. 19, Matthew 19, verse 12.
to the nation of Israel. Go and admit him. So the day Elisha was admitted, that was the day Elisha was made the prophet. But see, you see, see Elijah. Elijah was seen around for years. Before he was finally taken to heaven. You get it now. What am I trying to what are you trying to say this is child? What what am I trying to do? This is not dead of right. Elisha did not say because she was anointed me to become a prophet. Now that I have become a prophet, let me begin to prophesy why his master was there. Did you get it now? Why the master was around? He 
was anointed the king. Saul, the king, don't be taken away from Saul. But see, he became a slave to King Saul. Because he had to learn the principles. See, God anoints you with no mean. You have no everything. If God had released David, the moment David was anointed as a king, David would have destroyed himself. In fact, the kingdom would have been destroyed. Because the things that will make David a David, that will make the kingdom to stand, David has not learned it yet. But the mantle, the anointing to whom and made, has already been what? Released to him. But there are still a lot of character. There are still a lot of personal development that he needs to learn to from the king that has been disqualified. Did you get it now? See, this is the reason why there are a lot of hard work in the church today. Caused by premature anointed men of God. Premature. They are anointed, but they kept out prematurely. They are not from yet. At the end, they destroyed themselves. See, when a woman gives birth to a premature baby, what happened? They still put the premature baby inside the world, incubator. In other words, go back. The incubator, the atmosphere in the incubator, is the same atmosphere in the room of the mother. The same temperature in the room. In other words, she must pass through the process. See, there is no escape. There is no shortcut to the process. Did you get it now? You must pass through the process. Until you have been incubated fully, if not in God release you. You're you premature. <laughs> See, there are a lot of anointed men of God, but because of their character, their ministry has been taken away from them. Because they have no character, the character they have is not the character they need. See, every anointed matter of God, it comes with what? With conditions. There is a character. If your character does not match the anointing of God, I saw a baby 
I saw principal Adeloye in that dream. So, and I saw Adeloye, Adeloye is there. I, I began a, 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 a check of it. I said, I will not let you go. I said to him, bless me. I hold his leg. He looked at me. He said, but he has not left from God. Then, he, he walked a bit. As he walked, my son told me that he has received a message from God. He told me, he looked at me. He said, be patient. He, he said, strong. But might see that those ways is not magic. No, if you say something is strong, if it is positive, the nature is supposed to be negative. Strong but weak. But he says strong, but might. He said impatient. When he say impatient, everything will be right. because I know what he was talking about. He said impatient. Then he told me. Then he put hand on me and said, Pastor, he began to pray. When the prayer finished, I didn't say anything. Because that word is said in English. Because I believe I've spent years for God. I've sacrificed years to do nothing in this life. I've been in that command. I've been living on God's mercy, living on people's mercy. Are you getting it now? Just, I believe I have studied. I believe I can preach now. The word of God is in me. Is probably, I need a place to pour it out. Now he said, the patient. Then it, all of a sudden, something appeared like a bag. Different bag, different quality bag. Are you getting it now? In ascending order, this one is gold, this one is silver, this one is. Are you getting it? Then, and then what he told me, he said, This is the process he went through. He started from the list. After this stage, he was in 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 this stage. Because in that dream, I need what makes him now. I want to operate at the level he is now. <laughs> Do you understand that? He said, this is the level. So, they showed me the process he went through. In other words, you must go through the process. Then after that, you begin to discuss with Chris Yadimi. What was the topic? Chris Yadimi said that, People that people have missed a lot of things because of impatience. They begin to discuss it and I wake up. Do you believe that week I was in this? Because I thought that what I supposed to do to become a pastor, I have got no idea. I didn't even know that I did not know anything. I'm telling you that. That was what I wanted to do.
does not make you that God have approved of you to start. Do you understand? Do you understand? Because this is what is destroying many premature ones, men and women of God. And I remember when I was speaking as to Emmanuel, there was no day he was around that I preached. Both weekly service or on school. For the years I said to him, I never cared on what one is for what on the side. The only time they, I was free to plan the water is when the water he traveled is not happening. Maybe for two months, three months, for weeks. Are you getting it? That is me. But yet, I never complain. The highest frustration, and it's a test from God. That is when God knows, are you going to be there under the authority that I've set you on me? Because God wants you there. Are you going to be there now? What makes you a man of God is the ability for you to ability for you to overcome what frustration. And the higher frustration you can encounter as a man of God, it is when God is giving you a revelation and a platform is not given to you to point out. Then what will you do? God will set you. What will you do? Are you going to repair in this authority I've set you on? Okay, now will you will you So now, what will you do in 
insult the season. You have to know that it's because, see, when God approves you, men will approve you. When God said go, the eyes of men, men will begin to see God. You don't need men to recognize you when the time comes. See, it doesn't matter the kind of raw anointing or prophetic you are moving in when that time has not come. If you try to break out yourself, then you attract problems to yourself. Everybody that's supposed to notice you will fight you. Why? Because your time has not come. This is one of the seasons that you have to know that yes. Though I am not to be the king, but the time for the kingship has not yet come. Wait. The Bible says something very powerful in the book of Samuel chapter 5. If you read from the said something, he said that when the king of Moabites came and built David a house, he said David perceived that God had established his world. And David went on and began to marry many wives. Mm. Did you see that? <laughs> he went on to begin to marry many wives. So, so uh, before he, waiting, he, been waiting. he has been waiting. So if he had gone to marry many wives before God established him, he would have brought a problem to himself. He would have brought a problem to himself. He said, but when he see that a king left his country, I come and build him a house. He perceived that God had established his kingdom. And David went on and become great and took many what many wives and began to build cities. Until then, David was in a secluded place waiting for God's word time. See, many people they have found themselves in a fatal crash in the pursuit of their di of their divine. Uh, 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 in the delivery of their divine mandates because they are in haste. They want to fast forward God time. God is not in haste. In haste. God does not operate in the level of staircase. God in the level of escalator. God is a God of one step, second step, third step. He's a God of process. He must take you through the process. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. This, this teaching is very, very important. It's very, very important. Because many people have missed a lot. There are many people that are supposed to be moving in some dimension of identity today, but they are not going to be found in the faith today. Why? Because they were not impatient. They were Do you understand? Do you understand? Let God announce, announce you. Don't impose yourself. Don't announce yourself. Let God announce you. When the time of announcement comes, God will watch you out. You don't need any human effort. God will watch you out. People will see that you are this and that. Praise God, Jesus. But when you try to operate the gate before the time of launching, that person will be disqualified. Any person, 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 any